I am Lanikia, and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is General Hospital Edition. Today is Tuesday, August the 29th, 2023. On a scale of 1 to 10, honestly, I would rate it. I looked down at the clock and I was like, 245? It went that fast. I enjoyed it. I'm going to give it a 7.5. Let's get into it. Who do we want to go to? Let me go to my notes. Sorry, I was on a video chat with my sister. So let me get my notes. All right, let's go to Cyrus and Drew. So Cyrus goes up to Drew. Y'all know how Cyrus be talking in his gerberish. <laughs> and Drew said, listen, if you have something to say with me, just spit it out. Don't, you don't have to do all these metaphors and, and all this, like talking like we're in the handmaid's tale. Tell me what you want me to, what you want me to know. He said, well, it's good that you're under Sonny's protection. And because you're under Sonny's protection, I'm under Sonny's protection. He said, excuse me. I'm sure Sonny wouldn't want you being under his protection. He said, yeah, but it's by association because you saved me. And it allowed people to be like, well, not, don't mess with Drew. I mean, um, Cyrus either. Because, you know, of what, um, because they might say oh well because he's of with, associated with drew if that makes sense so don't miss with cyrus either because clearly drew um likes cyrus or something's going on there or whatever and he said oh well okay if that if that's how you want to look at it and so cyrus tells him i want to be a good man like you you're a noble man and he said it and because drew was like i just didn't want to see an old man getting beat up and Cyrus said, and you would still do it again if it was happening again. You would still step in because that's the type of man you are. And I just want to be like you. I said, Cyrus, I don't nobody have time for your little mind games. <laughs> don't nobody have time for this. Now tell me what's going on with this storyline or move it on. And so he said, well, we're, we're done. Okay, so let's move on to Michael and Carly. So they sit down and they're talking and, and, and Kelly looks good. Kelly's looks good. And Carly had on a dress more suitable for Kelly's because she's been coming to work dressed in her little jackets and stuff. It's been cute though. Cause you know, Laura is a pretty woman, so it's cute, but she looked more suitable for work today. And so she told uh, Michael, thank you for stopping by. And he was like, what's up? You know, of course he was going to stop by. He loves what she's done to the place. He was like, so what's going on? And she tells him that um, she was that she wants more information to see what what he has going on with uh, Sonny and Dex. Is everything going OK? He said, yeah, he said um, he updates her about what, Dex's moves as far as, you know, f following um, Austin. And then she tells him about how she saw Austin and Sonny came to her and he wanted to know more about her. And, you know, and they're concerned because Sonny would never have let Betty around Avery unless something was going down. And he really needed to know the information about who this boss is that Mason and um, Austin worked for because they just, she he upstate her on all of that. And she's like, okay, okay, we'll just keep on. And they're, you know, they're just going to see how, where that, all that goes. Cause there's not much to tell. Michael doesn't, he's in the dark as much as uh, Dex is. So then we go, she tells him about how they're hoping, how she's hoping that um, Drew can get out, like they can find some type of information on the judge and that'll um, get Drew off. And Michael said, she says, do you think we could ask Drew to help um, get information on who Dex, excuse me, Austin went to see? at Pentonville and he said no because you know we don't want to draw any more attention to him and she said you know you're right um and everything because you know she was like I know he's under Sonny's protection and we really but we really don't want to draw any more attention um to to him in regards to um him finding out who the big boss is because you know they never they really don't know what's going on with that and so she said but we're working with the Diane's going to see if she can get um, the judge removed or if anything can happen as far as helping with, um, Cy excuse me, not Cyrus, but with Drew getting released from prison. And Michael said, well, I hope, you know, anything, any way I can help, of course I will, but I don't know. It, it sounds like a long shot, but we shall see. And that's, that's all you can do, sir. So anyways, that's it with them, y'all. Um, they were just catching up. Um, so then from them, we go to um 
Oh, so then we go to Sonny and Brick. So he's there and they're talking about um, Betty, right? Because he tells him Betty's went to Mexico. And Sonny says, I got people in Mexico. So they probably thinking that um, she can't be touched or whatever. But I can touch her still. I can get to her if I need if I need to. So it is what it is. You can stay there for right now. And that's where I need her to be. And everything. So they start talking about Pikeman and how, you know, the Sonny said the money was good. I'm not going to lie to you. The money was real good. He said, but I'm starting to think the money ain't worth it. And um, Brick says, be easy, Sonny. The, they're very dangerous and it's hard to get out of deals with this company. He said, because um, Sonny is like, I want them to tell me who keep trying to shoot at me or, you know, or we not working together anymore. And they said, what if the boss, because they still don't know who the boss is. There's, um, Brick is going to look into who Austin was there to see at the prison. But they, um, they're like, whoever the boss is, maybe they could be trying on purpose to get you a bad relationship with Pikeman so they can step in and take the deal. I said, that's not about right. Because Cyrus gave all his money away, but you would give all your money away if you knew you was going to get that Pikeman deal. You know, and you, because they said it was a nice sum of money. So if you knew you were going to get that deal, wouldn't you give all your money away? Child, I don't know. Let me stop because y'all know I told you I'm not going to try to read into this whole situation when I don't know. So um, anyways, they're they're trying to figure um all of this out and but Bree just tells Sonny be easy let's just look into it and see what's gonna um be going on and Sonny's like yeah 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 that, that, that's how we'll play it just wait and see who this um who Mason and Austin's Austin's boss you know are but he's still tracking them and everything and I believe that's pretty much it with Sonny and Brick they're just waiting to see. Um, who the big boss is so they can make their moves or to see what kind of moves they're trying to make on them and you know who's trying to take Sonny out all of this connect is connected with Valentine and and Anna and Sonny and Sarah it's Miss Wu might have a part in it because she was wanting to know about the deal too um but Gladys stopped that so I don't know child we'll we'll have to wait and just see let me see okay y'all can delete them so then we go over here who do we want to talk about next we talk about so okay so trina um well portia and credits go home and trina welcomes them home right and and marshall and trina is being so super nice and over the top just you know she's trying to make it seem like everything is normal but <laughs> it's 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 a lot she's doing a lot but you know she's she doesn't know how to react but curtis is real sweet to her he knows what she's doing so he lets her you know he lets her do it and and everything and and then marshall tells him let me talk to you outside so when he talks to um marshall outside um portia tells trina you got to come down girl <laughs> like you're making it awkward and Trina was like oh my gosh I didn't mean to do that but Portia's like baby he understands it was cute because she was like dad you're home and come see your room and look at this and look at that and Portia was like you just gotta calm down babe <laughs> it's it's good and she was like okay I'm sorry I didn't mean to make it you know weird or whatever but I was like he, she all right Portia she did need to calm down a little bit but Curtis he gets it he understands she's it's awkward for her too so anyways, Marshall goes outside and talks to Curtis about um, Miss Wu and, you know, her pretty much threatening to um, make their the Savoy go under and credit to if they don't sell. And Curtis said, well, let's just sell it then. And he's and Marshall's like, what? He said, it's not worth all this trouble that Miss Wu would have. He can't really run it like he's supposed to. Marshall said, I will run it. He said, yeah, but I don't want you having to do all that. And it might just be easy to sell just so we won't have to have the headache of it all. And Curtis does, Marshall does understand what Curtis is saying, but he tells him, you know, I want you to think about that before you decide. So then, uh, Portia comes out and she talks to Curtis and really all I heard about from their conversation was that Curtis is like he's worried about not being able to be her husband um you know husband and she says I don't know what woman you thought you married but like I'm for better or worse um whatever it, it is we're gonna make it through and I said all right girl and so that's that on that 
um with those two like that's one of the reasons Curtis is re Curtis is real nervous but it's nice to see them finally being nice to each other again and calling each other baby and all that but anyways child that's it with them so let's move on so then we go over here to Lucy Maxie and Brooklyn and Lucy is getting on their nerves because she trying to find somebody to represent them because apparently Valentine, um, what's his name? Um, Valentine needs Martin, so Martin was supposed supposed to represent him. Now he's not doing it or whatever, and like, she's like, "Oh my gosh!" And they fired their last representation because they had thought she thought she had Martin, but he can't do it. Scott was supposed to do it, but y'all know they fired um Ken, so it, I don't know why they even brought his name up that he could do it. Um, <laughs> so. Then they were like, well, who's going to do it? Because Brooklyn is still over there feeling guilty because she know her darn grandmother's behind all this. And so they were like, well, who's going to help? Who's going to help? And then Elise comes. Now, if you don't know Elise, I was like, okay, because she's so funny. Like if you watched um, American Housewife, it used to come on ABC. They used to have breakfast like with their families and stuff. And then they would have second breakfast. And it was um, the moms would get together and they would just complain about their life. <laughs> you know, they would complain about the schools, uh, the be you know, the other parents at the school, they would complain about their hood. It was just a cute little show, American Housewife. It doesn't come on anymore, but I think um it's still called if you have Hulu, you can still watch it there on ABC if you have the app. It was just a cute little show. I loved it. But she was um one of the moms on the show. And so when I saw her today, I was like, Oh, I forgot she was supposed to be playing a role on here. Um, but she came uh, out and and um lucy said i thought i fired you and maxie said i unfired her we need some help <laughs> and she was like thank gosh because she's um there to deal with jackson montgomery and apparently she's ran for da twice um and lost and and she told him well what about your little scandals because jackson come through and they're like who is your client who's your client i said so y'all telling me there's a court case against y'all and y'all don't have any information it, uh, it that's not making sense that's not making sense Y'all don't even know who's trying to um, sue you and, and everything. It just doesn't make sense. So anyways, when Jackson come through, he and Lucy go at it. And I said, uh-uh, Lucy, you got Martin. Let Jackson go over here. Like, keep, keep Walt on the show and let him and Robert have to fight for Diane's attention. I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it <laughs> because Robert don't know what he wants. But anyway, so that was the, it with them. They were just, um, he says, you know, I'm representing my client in their interest. I said, now what happened to Diane? Because I thought she was doing something for um, Tracy with this matter as well. But I don't know, child. But anyways, after, um, so after him and um, Elise go back and forth, then Diane, excuse me, Tracy comes in. Move back, Mila. Tracy comes in and um they're like, oh my gosh, because Brooklyn has to cover up. And she was like, Grandma, thank you for being here to support me. And Tracy just looking at Brooklyn because she's like, girl, you know I'm not here for that. But she lets her ride, she lets her play it off, and and she tells her, Oh no, I, but she lets them know I'm not here to support, I'm here to get my interest. Because Lucy was thanking her, Maxie and all of them were thanking Tracy. Um, and she lets them know I'm the one suing y'all. And so that that's that on that. Um, so then we go to, who do we go to? Sasha. So Sasha's in the room and her nurse is just like, Janice is just like, mm, are you okay? Cause Sasha got the shakes and everything. And she said, um, no, she's not okay. Um, she's cold. And so they, they try to help her out um, with that. She gives her another blanket and then she, Sasha tells her she has a headache. So she leaves the room, right? And the doctor slips in the room with um, with Sasha and he gives her more drugs. And she's begging him, please, no, 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 no. But he gives her more drugs. And then when the nurse comes back, she sees him in the room. But I guess that's not unusual and she says she doesn't seem to get be getting better better she might need more help than this facility can give her so of course that makes the doctor call gladys who's over here with nina so gladys is with nina telling her 
with Sasha medical bills, I need um I need money for them. And Nina not buying, and she already knows Sasha uh, Gladys is lying. And she was like, I don't know what you're lying about, but why didn't you ask Sonny? She said because you see Sasha is like a daughter, and you know she's close to Willow and all that, trying to play the sympathy card with Nina. And Nina said, Girl, I'm busy. Unless you want to tell me the truth about what's going on, you're not gonna get a dime um from me. And so then um we see where uh Gladys tries to tell her, Well, I have a gambling problem, and that's what it really is about. And um, they're probably try, trying to put the squeeze on me. Oh. And Nina was like, Well, go tell Sonny because I'm not giving you money. And then what made Nina really mad is she said, So what you're saying is that if you could get money from yeah. Sasha, because she told Nina, I can't get money right now because Sasha um accounts are frozen because of the, the scepter and everything she said so i can't get money right now and she said so nina was like so what you're telling me is that if you could have got sasha's money you would have used it for your own personal use to pay your gambling debts heck no gladys get out of here and so she makes gladys leave i said no don't just make her leave you go tell sonny what gladys is doing nina got dog and so then the doctor called because remember the nurse told um, him that maybe Sasha shouldn't be there. They can't give her the help that she needs. And so because of that, the doctor calls and he's like, they, they're they trying to move Sasha. You know what that means. I'm going to make it so that she can't talk to say what he's been doing to her. And so now Gladys is back in Nina's office and she has to tell the truth. She has to come clean and tell Nina what's going on. And so, but I don't, and let's see if she tells the whole truth, like that she's the one who did, made the doctor do this to Sasha in the first place. But um, that was General Hospital today, guys. It was a good episode to me. Um, I hate what they're doing in the Sasha, but it's a good episode. It makes for good, you know, good episodes. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you tomorrow for an all new episode of What Happened on the Soaps General Hospital Edition. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.